Pilar Aguera Esparza and Dio Mendoza spent a month in Los Angeles this summer learning how to make the traditional Mexican sandal, El Jarache. Their teacher, Pilar's father, Don Jose Aguera, a third-generation shoemaker. Pilar and Dio will recreate her father's workshop in Out of the Garage, Into the World. El Shop will give the public an opportunity to see into the nature of specialized labor. This is the second collaboration for the mixed-media artists who both live in San Jose. The project was sparked by a chance encounter at a fabric store. I knew that it was kind of like, if I showed him the huaraches, he would start asking me about like, so have you done anything with leather? Have you worked with these materials? And that's exactly what he did. I kind of opened this box of huaraches and he's like, oh my God, what, what are these? And, you know, yeah, my dad makes things and he's, uh, I grew up with this. And he's just like, wow, are you, have you worked with it? And I said, no, not yet. Having morphed my work into a more sculptural arena, basically, because I started off being a two-dimensional artist, uh, painting, drawing, printmaking, and uh, in the last 10 years, it has become more sculptural, that the question of why don't I work with leather, why don't I work with the materials that my dad basically works with, has, has been in my mind for quite a bit. So the impetus to do that was really my discussions with Dio, you know, of, of what's, the, what's the possibility of doing this, and uh, which I was starting to genuinely explore, like, as a possibility. We came down to L.A., to South Central, and once we got here and we were exposed to, like, the shop, I was like, oh, my God, this is so intense. It was so, so intense. See, because the shop is like an amalgamation of leather, and it's dirty and, and kind of like smelly, uh, smelling of leather and smells of paint and paint thinner and also uh, a glue. And I was like, oh my God, this is so intense. This is amazing. And it's really tiny. You can barely walk through the shop. I mean, if you like open your hands wide, you could probably touch both of the walls. So it just made it like a really cumbersome space, you know, but at the same time, I saw it personally as an installation. It's a sculptural installation that this guy, who has been working here for over 30 years, has been working and adding to it. Both artists who teach in the Bay Area are interested in materials. Dio has worked with reconfiguring recycled materials. Pilar is focused on using materials that have a personal connection to her life. Both are also interested in social issues. And for them, harachas are more than shoes. What do they say about social status? Who makes them? Who buys them? Pilar sold the shoes at flea markets when she was a child. She thought it was important for Dio to have the same experience. It's uh, working class people who are going there to buy clothes that are cheaper, to buy, you know, basically dollar store items. So it was really frustrating for Dio when people would come up to our stand when we had our huaraches, knowing that these are leather products that they take quite a bit of time to make and skill and yet people had difficulty paying more than $20 for them. You know, he'd be like, what? How can you ask for a pair of guaraches to be $10? When it took myself and Pilar a whole day to produce one pair of guaraches, you know, of course we're, you know, beginners. But then, look, like, the, the people that are hired to weave the guaraches and to do the whole process, you know, they're a lot more skillful, obviously, but it still takes a long, long time to produce a guarache. So for someone to offer $10, $15, I just couldn't understand, you know, why, why is that? You know, is it because it's sold in, in, in La Pulga? Is it because it's sold in, in this very specific, you know, social space compared to a gallery or, or a, a shop, a boutique? So then I started questioning all that once I was down here. Pilar and Dio are designing their own line of huaraches. They will sell them at the Biennial and display them at a fashion show on September 18th. They will also do a workshop in their South Hall location. A limited number of participants will learn the basic weaving techniques involved in the craft. It's how these two artists are building their own world. Some of those uh, very traditional ways of weaving and, and how the huaraches put together, we're going to utilize in our project, but we also want to take those ideas and transform them into something more modern, more contemporary. For example, instead of just using uh, regular leather, we're gonna start painting the leather, using like bright colors, you know, putting heels on the huaraches, creating perhaps uh, sculptural objects that are not meant to be worn. We're putting all this together and ultimately there's a couple things that we want out of this, right? So not only be able to document 
the tradition, the history, the making, but then be able to also go, then what do we do with it? You know, how do we make our own world, right? How do we create? What do we want to make out of this? Because ultimately, as artists, where do we show? Where do we, how do we put things out to be looked at, to be, to, how do we make our own commentary about this? The, the image of the Warache is also very charged with class, right? Because it's kind of more the working class shoe, the peasant shoe. Uh, we were really fascinated being able to, to bring it then in the other realm. Well, from working class to high couture fashion, you know, being able to go, well, let's, let's juxtapose these two. And how does this work? Why is one here and the other one here? Um, high and low, uh, artisan versus art. The 2010 zero one SJ Biennial runs September 16th through 19th in venues throughout downtown San Jose and in satellite locations in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. For more on the zero one SJ Biennial, visit zero one SJ.org. The zero one SJ Biennial is produced by zero one, the art and technology network.